Hi, welcome to the video. We're going to have a look at how we can build our own tokenizer in Transformers from scratch. So this is the second video in our Transformers from scratch series. And what we're going to be covering is like the actual tokenizer itself. So we've already got our data, so we can cross that off. Now we're onto the tokenizer. So let's move over to our code. So in the previous video, we created all these files here. So these are just a lot of text files that contain the Italian subset from the Oscar data set. Now let's maybe open one, ignore that. And we just, we get all this Italian. Now each sample in this text file is separated by a new line character. So let's go ahead and begin using that data to build our tokenizer. So we first want to get a list of all the paths to our files. So we are going to be using pathlib. You could also use OS Lister as well. It's, it's up to you. Import, so sorry, import path. So from pathlib, import path. I'm using this one because I don't know, I've noticed that people are using this a lot at the moment for machine learning stuff. I'm not sure why you would do it over OS list there, but it's what people are using. So let's, you know, give it a go, see how it is. So we have this and we just want to create a, a string from each path object that we get. So for X in, and then in here, we need to write path and in here we just want to basically tell this where to look. So we're using path here and we're just in the same directory. So it's not, we don't really need to do anything here. That's, that's fine. And then at the end, we are going to use glob here. I think this is why people are using this. And we just create like a wildcard. Like we want all text files in this directory. So we, we just write that. Now, let's do that. I'll look at the first five and we can see that we have our, our text files now, so that's good. And what we can now do is move on to actually training the tokenizer. So the tokenizer that we're going to be using is a byte level, byte pair encoding tokenizer or BPE tokenizer and Essentially, what that means is that it's going to break down our text into into bytes. So, with most tokenizers that we you probably use, uh, unless you've used this one before, then you've used it before. We we tend to have like unknown tokens. So, like for Bert, we use sentence piece encodings, and we have to have this unknown token for when we don't have a, a token for a specific word, like for some new word. Now with the BPE tokenizer, we are breaking things down into bytes. So essentially we don't actually need an unknown token anymore. So that, that's, I think, pretty cool. Now to use that, we need to do from tokenizers. So this is a another hugging face package so you, maybe you need to you might need to install that so pip install tokenizers and you want to do byte level bpe tokenizer like that okay now we take that and we're going to initialize our tokenizer so we just write that that's our tokenizer initialized we haven't trained it yet to train it we need to write tokenizer train 
And then in here, we need to include the files that we're training on. So this is why we have that pass variable up here. So this is just a list of all the, the text files that we created, which are all separated by new line characters, each sample separated by a new line character. Now, the vocab size, we're going to be using a Roberta model here. And I think the Roberta model, the typical Roberta model vocab size is 50K. Now, I mean, we can, you can use that if you want, it's up to you, but I'm gonna stick with the typical Bert size just because I, I don't think we need that much. You know, we're just figuring things out here. So, uh, you know, this is going to mean less training time and that's a good thing in my opinion. We haven't set the min frequency. So this is saying, what is the minimum number of times you want to see a word or a part of a word or a byte? So it's kind of weird with this tokenizer before you add it into our vocabulary. So th that's all that is. Okay, and then we also need to include our special tokens. So we're using the Roberta special tokens here. So we write special tokens. And then in here, we have our start sequence token. I'm just going to put this on a new line. So maybe not, not like that, like this. So we have the start sequence token, the padding token, end of sequence, which is like this. The unknown token, which with it being a byte level encoding, you'd hope it doesn't need to use this very much, but it's, it's there anyway and the masking token. So that's everything we need to train our model. And one thing I, I do remember is if you train on all of that, all of those files, it's, it takes a really, very, very long time, which is it's fine if you're training it overnight or something, but that's not what we're doing here. So I'm just going to shorten that to the first 100 tokens and maybe maybe i'll train it after this with with the full set let's see so i will leave that to train for a while and i'll be back when it's done okay so it's finished training our tokenizer and we can go ahead and actually save it so i'm going to import os i'm just soon so I can make a new directory to store the tokenizer files in. And a typical Italian name, or so I've been told, is Filiberto, which fits really well with Bert. So this is this is our Italian Italian Bert model name, Filiberto. So that is our new directory. And if we just come over to here, we have this working directory, which is what I'm in. And then we have this new directory, Filiberto, in here. That's where we're gonna save our tokenizer. So we just write tokenizer, save model. And here we can, can do, we can, can see here, we can do save or save model. Save just saves a, a JSON file with our tokenizer data inside it. But I don't think that's the standard way of doing it. I think this is the way that you want to be doing it. And we're saving it as Filiberto, like that. So we'll do that. And we see that we get these two new files, vocab.json and merges.txt. Now, if we look over here, we see both of those. And these are essentially like this two steps of tokenization for our tokenizer. So when we feed text into our tokenizer, it first goes to mergers.txt. And in here we have characters, words, so on, and they are translated into these tokens. So these are characters on the right, tokens on the left. So we scroll down, we, we can see different 
ones you can keep going so here we have zione that's like although my italian's very bad that is like the english t-i-o-n so t-i-o-n and we, we would say stuff like attention right italians have the same but they have like attenzione so th that's what we have there so it's, it's part of a, a word and it, it's pretty common and that gets translated into this token here now after that our tokenizer moves into vocab json and i don't know why it started at the, at the bottom there I'll go to the top if I just clean this up quickly, we can see we have a JSON object. It's like a dictionary in Python. And we have all of our tokens and the token IDs that they will get translated into. So if we if we scroll down here, we could we should be able to find was it VA, I think. Okay, so VA, which is our Zione into this token here and then that eventually gets converted into this token id so that's our full tokenizer process let's open that file back up if we if we wanted to load that we would do that like we normally would with transformers so we'd select from transformers import roberta so we're using a roberta tokenizer here so Roberta Tokenizer, we can use either the Roberta Tokenizer or the fast version, it's up to you. And we just initialize our tokenizer like that. We from pre-trained and in here, rather than putting a, a model name from the Hugging Face website, we would put the path, the local path to our directory, our model directory. So. It's Filiberto for us. And then we can use that to begin encoding text. So go ciao, come that, which is like, hi, how are you? If we write that, we can see that we get, these are the tokens here. I wonder if we did a tent. Um, so in, I'll do it, I'll try in a minute. So we have the sort of sequence token here end of sequence token here. So the, the, uh, the S and the S like that. So we have those at the start and end of each sequence. And we can also add padding in there. So padding equals max length and also max length needs to have a value as well. So max length by 12. And then we get these padding tokens, which are the, are the ones. So that's pretty cool. And I just want to let's uh, purely more of curiosity than anything else. So we have attenzione. Let's see if we if that if we recognize the number there. So no, we don't. So I suppose this is probably the the full the full word. In fact, we, it is. So this is the the full token here. If we if we just do this, maybe we will get. I, I can't remember what number it was. The three three two two maybe maybe that's right I'm not sure but anyway that's that's how everything works so that that's it for this video in the next video we will take a look how we can use this tokenizer to build out our input pipeline for training our actual transformer model so so everything and I'll see you in the next one.